So the UPS guy just dropped this off. This is my push pole slash stakeout pole replacement for the one I lost. It's a basic eight foot, three quarter inch fiberglass rod. Uh, the edge, the sides of it are all finished, so they're all smooth, sanded, polished. Uh, it just has the rough cut end, so that's what I'm going to work on now to convert it over and take it on the water for a test drive. Uh, I paid $18.93 and it took about three days to get here. So let's check this out. Okay, let's go through our quick parts list required for this build. So we've got the three quarter inch, eight foot finished fiberglass pole. Then I went and got a T, PVC T from Home Depot. This is a half inch all three sides, but it's threaded on the center one. That's important because that's the only way that the, it'll snug down on this three quarter inch. Uh, you can just smack it on and force it and crush those uh, threads to get it on the three quarter inch uh, fiberglass. But what I did is I just knocked down the threads with a file just so it slips on a little bit easier, but still really snug. I'm going to be gluing it, so no big deal. Then I cut off some little uh, extensions that I'm going to use for to make the T a little bit wider. The other alternative is, is that three quarter inch is the standard size for bi bicycle handles. So you can just use a rubber bicycle handle and slip it on the end. And that's what I did on my last build. I would recommend putting a bolt through to firmly attach it as well as gluing it. I put an eye through my other one and that's where I attached my rope. The only issue that I had with this was that when I had a lure or something caught in the mangroves, a T would be nicer so I could latch onto the edge and then I could pull stuff as well as if I dropped something in the water, I could use it to hook onto things and bring it up where this wasn't able to. Uh, from there for buoyancy to Casey drop it because they will sink. Um, I have one of my old uh, fishing rod floats that I'm going to use temporarily. Otherwise, I've got some pool noodle, which I could do the same to make it a little bit bigger. However, I think on this build, I might go the route of getting a crab float, a smaller crab buoy foam, and then attaching it with a piece of rope and then attaching it to the push pole and just have the secondary float. And I'm going to test that as well to see if it hinders my uh, getting in the way and so forth. Then I've got some standard PVC glue that's going to lock everything together. And then I've got my bridge and piling rope anchor, or rope that I generally use for that, but I'm going to use it temporarily. Just loop it through the T-handle here, and that's going to tie it off and allow me to tie my kayak off. So anyways, that is our parts list, and then the only tool that we we'll need is a coconut. Let's get building here real quick. I'm gonna build the T here real fast. That goes in. That goes in. And then this is where the coconut comes into play. All right, handle is done there. Now we just need to attach it to our PVC pole. Okay, now that's done. Now, instead of cutting it, I'm just going to use my sidewalk and create the uh, sharp edge point. Okay, so as you can see, it sharpens it really easily and quickly. I don't think it matters, but 
I'm going to hit this end with the lighter. I didn't, I've never had a problem with it splintering. I'm wondering if this might uh, harden it up. I've actually, I don't think I've ever uh, resharpened my other one. It got a little bit dull, but it didn't really make a difference. But anyways, that is that. Now, pretty much done right there, but then I've got my rod float. That's going to attach to the end there with a few zip ties. But like I said, I'm probably going to change this out. That's that. Then I'll attach my uh, rope here. I usually don't use a rope to attach to my kayak. I primarily just jab it into one of the side handles or the side paddle bungees, or I've got the little uh, cross arm for my outrigger. But no worries. So, I'm just going to loop it through the handle, maybe. That, through my built-in loop. Okay, and there we go. Done. And here's the final product. Now let's take it fishing. <laughs>